Hey, good morning, everyone. It's good Bob morning. Minister. Thank you. Thanks for being here. All right, we're going to okay. go ahead. Is, is that okay? You want to take it? You want me to take it? Sister Rook, are you taking it? You want me to take it? All right, I'll take it out as a no. I'll give it to you. You want me to take it or you want me to take it? Okay, let me let me take it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, sorry, everyone, you might probably not be able to. You will not be yeah, able okay. to see my you will not be able well, to okay. see my face. But well, okay. uh, but I just want to uh, Father, we just want to say thank you for this morning thank and you, for your faithfulness. You have been so yes. good to us, for the yes. strength you have given to us since the time we started. You yes. have been a faithful God. Father, even as we go into your word today, we pray that your presence, oh God, it will minister mm -hmm. to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way in all we are going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, brethren, uh, what I'm Amen. going to share this Amen. morning... It's going to be in First Thessalonians chapter 5, and I'm going to read just a few verses from it, where he talks about, um, he said, from verse 2, he said, For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Then I go further to read, and he says, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Brethren, I just want us to know that as we speak in the unknown tongue, it's just for us to be alert, just for us to know that we as children of God, this is the time for us to be watchful. We need to be sensitive at this time because there are strange things that begin to happen so that we don't take it for granted and we don't miss out. I begin to think that, oh, maybe it's just my thought. Maybe it's just a one-off. Maybe it's just this. We know that we are speaking in a language that we are communing with our Heavenly Father. And He understands it all. So when things begin to happen, we should not just take it lightly. We should not just overlook it. We should not just think that maybe it is just it or it is not it. It's just for us to be watchful at this time, not to be as those one who sleep like others. We are not going to be in the spiritual slumber because the sleep we are talking about is not a, just sleeping and waking up. It's the spiritual enlightenment that we're talking about. So, and my, um, my word for us today is for us, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Many people are sleeping at the time and the season where we are at the moment. If we are going to be sincere with ourselves, only few people are watching, only few people are sober, because in the process of watching, we need to be sober. And that is why we can, that is when we receive from God. And even when you talk about those people that sleep, they sleep at night. And they that are drunken are drunken in the night. So to us, we should know that it is not about nighttime. It's about the period where we are at the moment. Can be likely to be in nighttime. Many people are asleep. But to us, children of God, we need to be awake. And I just pray that as we are awake, God will begin to minister to us. We begin to download the mysteries into us. Because God is speaking. He wants children to, be, to listen to him. And it's only those people who are awake can listen to God that can hear God. It takes a matured ones to be able to hear from God. It's not, this is not about babes. It's about maturity, spiritual maturity. I'm not talking about age so that we don't take it for granted that, oh, I'm a particular age. I'm not a baby. I'm talking about spiritual maturity, whereby we are not meant to be taking milk. We are meant to be eating meat. That is what is meant for adults and the spirit of God will continually be with us even as we progress in our study of today in Jesus name. 
Amen. Lebo kahati inze da bo shira.
my dear sister Funke Alide, you open us up tomorrow. Uh, let me take this time today. All right. So I'm just what I have this time is any question, any question at all you might have. Let, let, let's address it. Anybody has a question, needs a prayer, whatever. It's an open floor right now. We close, we close at 35. Anybody has a question, a word from God, whatever. It's an open floor. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, I can assure all of us that the Olawan Bogboro is turning things around. As we continue in his will, he will turn things around in the environment that we are. He will turn things around in the governance that we need. He will turn things around and he will perfect everything concerning each and every one of us, even as we rely on him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Any other person? That was a powerful charge uh, my dear sister gave us in the morning. Hopefully I'll get to address it more sometime, but not today. Any other person has something to say? If you don't, I, I always have something to say if you want me to continue. But if there's no question, nobody has anything to say. You know, well, thank God and I thank you all for staying here with me. I hope you are getting something and you're growing in that wise. And I hope the more you pray, the more fluency you get in praying, and the more fellowship you have with the Holy Spirit, the more you begin to recognize him more in your life, the more you begin to hear his voice even more, you know, and that's part of the whole essence of doing this. You know, like I said, again, I don't know why God wants this this way, but personally, I can tell you some things. For the other things God is moving me into, this is a necessary forum because praying here with you more than praying myself, I'm praying more. You know, if I had to pray myself, I probably won't pray as more as I'm praying with you all. So it's a blessing for me to be in this midst, in this gathering. I'm not here just to give, I'm here to receive. I'm just as human as everyone here, I'm no special person. I, 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 you know, the Bible talks about, um, what's the name of Elijah? Elijah was a man of like passion. <laughs> Akin Akibodishi is a man of like passion. There's nothing I have that you don't have. We're all the same. We all need strength. We all need help from above. And I hope just as I'm gaining strength, each one of you is gaining strength also. This is a lifeline for me for the various things God is moving me into. So I did not set this thing up because I have an agenda. If you think I have an agenda, you're on your own. Continue. <laughs> you are doing well. I did not set this up because I have an agenda. I set this up because God wanted it. If for no one else, he wanted it for me. Because it's a place of refuge for me. It's a place of strength for me. It's a place where... I'm able to push more into him. I'm able to gain strength in the, in the holy place. I'm able to dwell in the presence of the Lord. I'm able to just fellowship with the Holy Spirit. 
and get more union with him, get more aff affluence with him, more, more, you know, we're, we're, we're becoming tight. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a physical thing, it's a spiritual thing. And like my sister Ronke said, God has more. Only, only God knows. The Bible says we should run with that which he has revealed to us. I don't want to worry about what else he has, but with the one he has revealed to me, ah, this one is more than enough. For, I can do this forever just for the one he has revealed to me. Not to talk about the one he has not revealed to me yet. And we'll make all things plain in his own time. You know, just dwell in it, enjoy it, get your own portion from it. And stop, don't let the devil carry your mind elsewhere. If he does, you're on your own. You know, God, even God cannot help you. You know, God has provided this for you to, to, uh, to enjoy yourself, to get blessed, to get strength for today. I don't worry about tomorrow. You need strength today, 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 today. It's not tomorrow. It's today. So gain the strength you need for today oh, and enjoy yourself. God bless you all. It's 35. I need to let you go. I'll see you tomorrow. My guest is Stephen Kayu. Bye. Start us up tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. God bless you.